Nigerian players continued in the momentum with which they took off the new year. The Splains packs of good form in a weekend of mixed blessings in the foreign leagues. With the Super Eagles scheduled to open camp officially in Europe next week for the twin international friendlies against Poland and Serbia, there is heightened activity as players up their game to end their place on the team. We begin from England, where the duo of Kelechi Hianacho and Wilfred Indidi were on the winning side when Leicester City hammered relegation battlers West Bromish Abion away at the Ottens. After two weeks of being involved in stalemates in which they had to fight back against Stoke City and Bournemouth, the Nigerian duo finally helped their English team achieve a win in their third successive game, with Ian Achor grabbing the third of four goals in the 76th minute to condemn the Baggies to another defeat. Victory for the Foxes also translated into a huge victory for Ian Achor, who was also celebrating breaking his league goals Udo in the colours of Leicester City. Also in England, Nigerian star Alex Iwobi was in action when Arsenal beat Watford 3-0 at the Emirates Stadium on Sunday. The Nigerian who was returning to the starting lineup after he was rested in his team's 2-0 win over AC Milan in the first leg of their Europa Cup encounter in Italy last week, played a pivotal role in the Gunners' impressive win. Iwobi Wu is set to feature for the Super Eagles and Nigerian scheduled friendlies against Poland and Serbia this month was however substituted by Danny Welbeck in the 66th minute. Still in England, Ola Aino played all 90 minutes in all cities 4-3 win over Norwich in an English nationwide championship game last weekend. The defender who is online to feature in Genot Roy's Super Eagles against Poland and Serbia in two international friendlies in Warsaw and London this month was making his 36th straight appearance for the Tigers since joining them on loan from Chelsea. In Turkey, Kenneth Omero's objective of re-establishing himself as a key member of the Super Eagles appears to be yielding dividends with a player getting match fitness through regular football for Turkish team Kasimpasa. Omero, who was in action for his team in their lone goal victory over Osman Lispo last weekend, also featured the all 90 minutes when Kasimpasa drew 2-2 with Sivaspo last weekend. In France, Chidoze Awazim was in the art of the defense for French League onside Nantes FC when they won 1-0 against Troyes last weekend. Awazim, who has been a regular for General since taking over as a Super Eagles coach, will be expected to replicate his form in the colors of Nigeria as they engage Poland and Serbia in upcoming friendlies in faraway Warsaw and London. In Holland, Tyron Ebohi played all 90 minutes as his Dutch team Ado Den Og were beaten 2-0 by Nath Breda. A boy who debuted for the Super Eagles in their recent 4-2 win against Argentina in a friendly would however be substituted in the 67th minute. In Spain, Ogene Caro Etebo featured for Spanish La Liga team Las Palmas only in the first half of their 0-2 defeat against Yellow Submarines Villarreal away. The Nigerian, who has been a hit for the modest club since arriving Portugal, could, however, not complete the game as he was replaced in the 46th minute by Bento Ramirez. And in China, Odion Igalo was on for his Chinese Super League team, Changchun Yatai, for all 90 minutes when they were hammered 5-0 by Ganzu Evergrande away last Friday. The Eagle striker could, however, not help his team as he fired blank all through the game. Also in China, John Obi Mikkel was at the middle of the park, pulling the strings when Tianjin Teda were guests of Enan Tianye. The Nigerian captain, who was on for all 90 minutes, would however end up on the losing side as they lost by a lone goal after having to endure for long spells of the game with 10 men following a sending off. In Russia, Ahmed Musa was in action for CSKA Moscow when they went away to beat FC Hakmat 3-0 on Sunday. The Nigerian, who returned to his former Russian club on loan from English club Leicester City in January, was not part of the scorers 
but was quite effective in a 3-5-2 formation where he operated as a support striker. Finally, Brian Idowu played the full 90 minutes when his Russia club, Amka Pam, lost to visiting Arsenal Tula. Idowu featured in a three-man defense which suffered a setback after central man Dmitry Belunrakov was red carded in the 80th minute to pave the way for Asnatula's second goal in the 83rd minute. Idowu is expected to test his wits on the right back for Nigeria in this month's scheduled friendlies with Poland and Serbia.